Good afternoon, YouTube. I just uh, wanted to do a quick video, a before video, and then I'm going to do an after video about a month from now. Uh, I've just been reading about this electroculture where you use uh, copper wire and branches and you penetrate the soil with the copper wire and you allow it to pull the ether, the uh, life force, the magnetic field back into the soil and re-energize the soil and revitalize the soil. So uh, I've done it here. This is some apple plants or apple seeds that I planted and they've been they've been growing for two to three weeks now. It's winter time but it's been pretty mild here in Tucson at least at least so far in, in January. It's almost 80 degrees today um, and I'm going to let these grow probably through mid-spring, probably through April, and then plant them in a bigger pot, separate, separate them out and plant them in bigger pots, and then wait another full year before I plant them in the ground. But anyhow, so what you do, I'm going to show you some more examples. What you do is get some branches or twigs, depending on if you're putting it in a pot or if you're putting it in the soil. Like here, here I have about a four foot branch and I wrapped it in copper. It's about eight to 10 inches in the ground. And I don't know the specifics yet. I'm pretty new to this. I don't know how much, how many uh, windings you need, how many feet of copper in order to pull down enough and how big an antenna you need. Um, but I'm hoping that that one antenna right there is going to be enough for this small garden this is our this is our small little herb garden we have rosemary growing here we have all different kinds of peppers as you can see um, we have some smaller peppers and this is maybe about i guess 10 feet 10 feet oval or 10 feet round this area uh, i have some other I have some other plants in pots. This is a blueberry bush. Blueberry bushes don't do very good here in the desert. So uh, since it's dormant right now, because it's winter, it's lost all of its leaves, I put an antenna in here in the pot to see if we can revitalize the plant and the soil. Uh, another example, I have a, a tree over here. This is uh, native to the desert here. Um, and I put a medium size antenna in the ground for this tree. See if I can bring it back. It's got some buds on it, but they're not really, they're not really doing great. I can't really focus too well here. Oh, well, you can't see. Uh, this is the same tree. This tree is doing good. Um, this tree just dropped its leaves and you can see we have we have red branches, we have shoots already starting. I don't know if you can see that, no. This thing just does not want to focus. Okay, there we go. Um, we, have, we have buds all over the place. Buds all over the place. Yeah, okay. Um, I'll show you some more examples. So that's a medium size. That's a medium size um, antenna. I have small ones like this. This is only, I guess, foot and a half, two feet long. Um, this, is a, this is a good size one that I put in here, hopefully pulling down enough ether into, into that small garden. And then we have a orchard with, with fruit trees. Well, I have these, I'm gonna show you these real quick. These are still in pots. I have four avocado trees and they're still in pots. And we made some small antennas this is a dragon blood tree, uh, which, is, which is growing. I have it in a pot too. I haven't planted it yet. I'm gonna wait probably a whole year on this guy because he was really small. Um, and we're gonna see what happens. There's another avocado. This one is, um, had some kind of blight going on it and some kind of damage to it. So I'm hoping that it, it comes back. And then I have some really healthy, really healthy avocado trees. Same thing, we put some antennas in them to see what happens. I'm going to make a second video about a month from now 
and I'm going to give you the after effect. This is the before video. I'm going to give you the after effect, but I just wanted to come out into the garden here and show you. We have a bunch of different fruit trees out here. Um, some, some are like here we got, we got a big giant peach tree. We got some decent size apple trees. They're all dormant right now. All dropped their leaves. A few leaves, a few leaves coming up, brand new leaves over here. Uh, they're gonna probably get killed in about a month or rather a week or two when we get a frost. We usually get one frost end of January, beginning of February or somewhere about there. Here I have, this is uh, planted last last uh, summer slash fall. These are, these are orange trees. So I put another antenna right here next to them to see if, uh, and you can see all it is is you take a, a, a branch and again, this one is eight to 10 inches in the ground, wind it with copper and I only, I turned them over. You don't have to do that, but I turned them over like that because I don't want anybody getting poked in the eye. I've got kids, I've got animals. I don't want anybody getting poked in the eye. All right, so like I said, this is the before. I'll make another video in about a month and we'll see if there's any changes um, compared to some of my trees. I have other trees that don't have any antennas next to them. These, these trees don't have anything. So we'll see what happens, all right? Mike Machine's out, thank you.